there we are all right so we're back home um feel a little weird about leaving the uh, sand flea down there to fend for herself in the water um i would have liked to get the boat out of the water and onto jack stands on the hard but it just wasn't an option i don't know how it's going to go down there with the hurricane about to be going over the top of it but here's the thing Honestly, we have it pretty easy here. Uh, you know, we are able to leave the boat behind and uh, come here and have uh, shelter and uh, water and, you know, food while there's other people in a lot of these islands down there in the, uh, in the Caribbean that are just absolutely smashed right now. In fact, uh, today is the day that the hurricane uh, went over St. Martin and 5% of the buildings is what's still standing down there. 95 of them are just completely leveled. There's, you know, roofs missing and uh, so much destruction from this hurricane down there on those smaller islands. And those people, I mean, they're without food, water, and shelter, and uh, just total devastation. So compared to that kind of stuff, you know, regardless of what happens with the sand flea, if anything happens to it, we're getting off really easy. And we're thankful for that. But we have done everything that we can do uh, to give the boat, you know, the best fighting chance that it can have down there. But whatever. Uh, at this point, there's nothing to do but just wait. We are in Tacoa, Georgia, and it is the morning after what was left of Hurricane Irma has passed through here. And uh, we are without power. There's downed trees all over the place. And I'll tell you, last night was kind of crazy. I mean, you could hear just uh, these loud cracks out in the woods with the trees falling. And it was, it's just amazing how much power that hurricane had left. We're five hours inland from the nearest coast. And I know it, th this, is, this is nothing in comparison to the, the damage and devastation that many people have received from this hurricane. I'm merely pointing out the fact that uh, despite we're, you know, us being so far inland and despite the hurricane being really so old, th this is, the hurricane basically died here and it still had enough power left to uh, bring trees down and uh, you know leave us without power way up here in the mountains of Tacoa, Georgia. So that, that's the point I'm trying to make. Um, as far as our boat goes, we have sustained uh, some level of damage. We basically rubbed up against the dock. Okay, here we are. Here is our boat. There is the dock. Wow. Look at all this stuff. It's just... Shoot, this thing's are ribbons. There's a big old piece of dock. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna have to clean up all this sawdust and stuff so I can get down here to the rail. But I'm pretty, pretty optimistic that we're gonna be able to fix this up pretty good. What the heck is that? I think that's a piece of our, the rope that was holding one of those, uh, oh yeah, a piece of rope from one of the uh, fenders that broke off. So, all right, well, we'll get that cleaned up and then be able to take a closer look at it, but it doesn't look all that bad. Let's look at the outside. Let's see what we got out here. Okay, so this is this is lots of splintered dust that's glued to the outside. Our uh, our stripe has been peeled away. There's a spot right there that has gone all the way through the paint, and uh, I, I see bare fiberglass right there. 
Uh, but actually over over there where the anchor is actually looks pretty good over there feeling a little bit better about this now that I'm seeing it in person all right let me get all these splinters cleaned up got the rail cleaned up and this is where the worst of the bend is right there in the rail we've also got some hardware like this uh, that screw is missing the head on a positive note the solar panels are still intact this one stayed right where it was supposed to be this one it, it's a little kicked sideways but it's actually just a piece of hardware that spun up on that top corner so the solar and the bimini and all that stuff is perfect uh, in fact, we've got 100% charge on the batteries right now, so that's good news. It doesn't look like we've had, you know, a bunch of water get inside the boat from, you know, blowing into these ports even though they're sealed, because I've heard that a lot of wind can just push water straight past those seals, but everything really looks quite good on the inside of the boat. In fact, I, I just checked in the bilge and, I mean, there's a tiny bit of water in there like there always is but I mean nothing unusual at all the uh, our baggies here have been doing a good job of taking the moisture out of the air so she probably put up some more of those bags before I leave but all things considered yeah still still very happy with uh, how things are back to this spot what I did is I've put some new stainless hardware in here. These one, two, three, four, and five, those are all new hardware sunk into fresh uh, fiberglass that I drilled out with pilot holes. Um, I had to, I couldn't put them right on the center line of this rail here. I had to bump them out so that I could get the drill past this, uh, past the rail, but that's just what had to be done. The priority here is uh, strength and then you know I'm gonna try to make it look as good as I can um, after that but no, so far you know pretty pleased with this uh, thus far and then the outside here is just gonna be a job whenever we we haul the boat out of the water um, I, I cleaned this off some a lot of that stuff that, that looked like damage down here was just kind of this stuff it's, it's basically sawdust um, so when we haul the boat out, we'll, we'll fix, uh, you know, the paint right there and that kind of stuff. But, you know, feeling pretty good. Um, I'll, I'm, I need to kind of smooth out this rail right in that area. Um, and I've got some sandpaper and just a sanding block I'm going to do that with. Bad news. I was over there working on the uh, the tow rail and spotted something that is very concerning. Allow me to show you. I've got some wire strands that are broken on this uh, this lower. It's not the cap shroud, but uh. Yeah, broken strands here. Let me see if I can... There's one wire that's completely separated right there. And then there's... Can you see those cracks right in there? There's actually... There's 19 wires that make up this cable. And I think probably at least three of them are totally broken. Actually four that I can see. And I think... I think this, uh, this part of the dock right here that's all beat up is probably from uh, from this shroud going directly up against it. Oh, that is not good news. Hmm. Okay, so here's the latest on the rail. New hardware and new holes. There, 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 there. 
there. These areas are the old holes. You can't even feel where those uh, holes used to be anymore. This is a two-part putty epoxy that I filled those holes with and sanded it down flat. And uh, these, this new hardware is drilled into fresh fiberglass and is sealed with uh, uh, 4200. Bye, San Flea. See you next time. Heading back to Georgia. I think this was a pretty productive trip. I really feel like I've repaired that thing back to a standard that was uh, equal to the original as far as strength is concerned. It's certainly not as pretty as it used to be, but you know, the other thing I discovered two new projects one is i gotta handle that rigging uh two uh, and i discovered this yesterday i'm gonna have to reseal the inside of my water tank uh i opened up the water tank to see what the level looked like yesterday and the water was all the water was in there it wasn't uh you know leaking out or anything but in the storm uh it i guess just as violently as the boat was thrashing around at the dock it shook a bunch of loose stuff off of the tank and it looks like little flakes of fiberglass or you know some kind of old paint that was in there or something i don't know all right let me put down this camera and focus on driving see you next time Mother